before 72 and uh, we have with us of course the head coach of Peristeria Nikolas Papanikolopoulos and Kingsley Moses. So Kingsley please could you tell us how did you see the game? Um, first of all congrats to Nimburg. They played a great game, they played physical, they, they executed when it mattered. And then I want to say um, I'm really proud of our guys today. We came out and we played, uh, we already knew we were probably five, but we still came out and played like we wanted to win. And uh, we just came up short today, down players, and we, we gave it all, all out there. And uh, just like I said, congrats to Nimberg, and um, ooh, I'm just happy we, we advanced to the playoffs. Uh, thank you. One more question. Uh, even though you lost, you still have advanced to the next round. Do you feel that this game prepared you well for it? Yes, yes. That's one of the things. We, we came out here and we, we, we didn't come for like just to play because we know we already got advanced. But we came out here because we know this is a good team. And um, if we can play with this team, we can play with anybody. Um, and if we, if we play good, which we I think we did, but we came up short. But we can we can take good things from this game. We've got what, what we can work on and what we can get better when we go to the playoffs. Thanks, Kingsley. Thank you, you for having take me. Take care. And coach, please, could you tell us how did you see the game? Please, first in English, then in Greek. Yes. Uh, first of all, congratulations to to Nimburg, not only for the qualification. I think they are now on second place, but uh, also for the way that they play basketball. They serve the ball, they play really aggressive, and uh, we really admire them with uh, the way they play. Congratulations to my players, first of all for qualification, and second because they step in, into the court, and uh, despite the misplays that, they have, that we have, important players, they fight for, from the first until the, the last possession. Now, as far as the game, I think it has uh, two parts. On the first part, we have a clear defensive uh, problem, especially to defend uh, Booker. And uh, second, our uh, rebounding, defensive rebounding, really hurt us with offensive rebounds of Nimburg. Second uh, part, on the second half, we didn't play so well on offense. Uh, we were not aggressive against uh, Nimburg uh, pressure, and we made some wrong, wrong decisions. Thank you very much. Would you like to say a few words in Greek as well? Συγχαρητήρια στην ομάδα μας για την πρόκριση στους top 16, αλλά και για τον τρόπο τον οποίο αγωνίστηκαν σήμερα, παρά τις πολλές και σημαντικές απουσίες που είχαμε. Νομίζω ότι το παιχνίδι έχει δύο όψεις. Στο πρώτο κομμάτι, στο πρώτο εμίχρονο είχαμε πρόβλημα στην άμυνα και κυρίως στα point guard και ιδιαίτερα στο booker, αλλά και στο επιθετικό rebound. Στο δεύτερο, στο δεύτερο εμίχρονο, Δεν εκτελέσαμε τόσο καλά τις επιθετικές συνεργασίες μας, κυρίως από την πίεση της Νίμπουργκ και αυτό οδήγησε σε ένα δίκαιο αποτέλεσμα και την νίκη της Νίμπουργκ. Thank you very much. Take care. Safe travel. Uh, stay tuned for the second part of the press conference, which is coming up in a few minutes.
באמת, באמת, לא יצאתי, לא יצאתי. basketball champions league game uh, era Nimburg versus Paris Terry Windmasters we have with us Nim guys from Nimburg uh, there is uh, Oren Amiel the head coach and also Deshuan Booker the MVP of the game Deshuan could you tell us could you tell us how did you see the game um, I just remember our last game we didn't come out uh, aggressive at all um, and that kind of hurt us in the long run of the game and uh, I think Today we kind of matched their aggressiveness, but we didn't play right uh, on the small thing. So, um, but we won, I think. So that's the most we can take away from it. So, do you do you feel that this sort of game prepared you well for the next round? Uh, yeah, most definitely. They're a, a physical team. Uh, obviously, this is a team that we lost to, um, and I think it builds confidence for us going into the playoffs. Cool. And just one more question. Uh, How did you how did you feel like personally? Because you know there is a quote Stephen Carey once said that every time when he shoots the ball he feels like it's going in. Yeah. Did you feel the same in a, in the first half especially? Uh, yeah, the the first quarter the the rim was kind of big, but um, I got to finish the game. Isn't that about how you finish the game? And I didn't finish the game well. Cool. Thank you very much. You're free to go to Shuan. No, I stay with my guy right here. Cool. Nice to hear that. The love hate uh, <laughs> relationship. <laughs> I can feel the love in the air. Uh, coach, please, could you tell us your statement after the game? <clears throat> um, okay, we won a tough game, um, but I mean, if I uh, think about what we we achieve until now, it's like uh, beyond everything we dreamed of. So. Um, heads, heads, uh, heads off to the, to the guys first of all because um, in the end they play, they play, they make the shots, they play defense. Um, so basically, it's for them. Uh, we, I told the guys also on locker room. I don't think we play uh, great. We are playing great the last uh, months. We have some. Uh, injuries and uh, you know and, and uh, tiredness and everything, but these guys never make making excuses. They always come, uh, showed up, and always find a way to win games. And this is for me say something about the mentality of this uh, bunch of guys. Uh, so today also, I don't think we play a great game. I think the challengers they play good, but in the end we find a way uh, with a lot of character to win the game. Uh, this is the most important thing, and again, I'm, I'm going to say about the atmosphere here. It's like it's really joy uh, to come here every other week and uh, perform uh, in front of the, the amazing fans, the amazing crowd we have here. Uh, it's emotional, you know. So we we would like to thank them and to hopefully see them more than uh, than more than one game uh, this season here. And the last thing, it's important for me, <clears throat> because we summarized the first group, okay? Um, it's the players uh, we talked about, but uh, but there is a lot of people behind, okay? They're doing uh, a lot of things for the for the team. Uh, doctors, physios, management, everything. But uh, but we have two guys that uh, sometimes they're behind the scene and they don't get enough credit. And this is my two assistants, uh, the conditioning of Rich and Sasha Sekulic. Uh, these guys are every day from uh, eight o'clock in the morning until uh, late, doing work, doing job, take it, uh, take it uh, really seriously. We have a great time in the office and I 
I thank them from, from here because it's important for me to say that. So that's it. I hope we will see everybody on, uh, I don't know, March yeah, somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Thank you. Just one more, please. One more question. I spoke for yeah, five questions. I know. I know. I still have one more for you. Uh, I know. I can actually. It's it's for both of you guys. Is there any team you would like to play against in the next round? Any you don't team? Answer. Any team? You don't need to answer this. <laughs> He's young. I need to, to. You should say we are. We we see. We respect yeah, everybody. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it doesn't matter who we play. Really, I'm not hoping for anybody. If that makes sense, but. Uh, our job is just be prepared for anybody. Cool. Thank you very much, guys. Congratulations. Thank you.